The birds team bears learn about strangers. Bear County is safe when every small cub there learns some special lessons from Ma and Papa Bear. Brother and sister bear who lived with their mama and papa in a big tree house down sunny dirt road deep in bear country looked quite a lot alike. Except for the fact that brother was a boy cub and sister was a girl cub and they were alike in many ways. And even though they each had their had hobbies, brother loved to build and fly model airplanes. Sister had all sorts of special interests. They enjoyed many of the same things bike riding, baseball, soccer, frisbee, and just getting out and enjoying nature. Yes, brother and sister were alike in many ways, but in some important ways they were different. Brother Bear was cautious and careful and a little wary of strangers, and sister, on the other hand, wasn't the least bit wary. She was friendly to a fault. Just about everybody that came along her way got a big hello. Hello, butterfly. Hello, frog. Hello, Mr. Shopper. Brother worried about sister's free and easy way with strangers. Strangers weren't a problem for him. Not talking to strangers suited cautious and careful brother just fine. But friendly to a fault, sister was different. She liked to talk. She talked to everybody. Hello. Hi. Hello. Sister and brother, you're going to have to stop that. Stop what, she asked, talking to strangers? It's not a good idea. Why? She just wanted to know. Why wouldn't I talk to strangers? What's the harm? What is? What harm is there in it? Is there something wrong with strangers? Hmm, brother said, thinking about it for a moment. Those aren't questions for a brother. Those are questions for mom and papa. Sister Bear, I'm glad you asked those questions, said Papa Bear in his deepest and most serious voice. The reason you should never talk to to stranger and never ever take presents from a stranger and never ever go anywhere with a stranger is that it's dangerous. Why is it dangerous? What's dangerous about it? She asked, wide-eyed. What can happen? Oh dear, said, thought Mama. I do hope Papa can tell Sister about strangers without making everything scary. All sorts of things, Papa said. Here, look at the newspaper. As she looked at her eyes, got wider and wider. This is what she saw. Bear County News. Stranger bothers cub. Missing cubs found. Chief Grizzly questions stranger. Cub meeting safety. I hope you're paying attention to all this, called Papa to Brother Bear. Yes, said Papa, or yes, Papa, said Brother, looking up from his airplanes. When Sister asked for our bedtime story that evening, Papa said, Of course, I have just the one. It was an old book that Papa had kept since he was a cub. The story was called Silly Goose and Willie Fox. I, it told how Silly Goose got into a conversation with Willie Fox, and before Silly knew, knew quite what was happening, she found herself in Willie's lair. This is how the story ended. Then there was a snip and a snap and all that left of Silly Goose was a few floating feathers and a smile on the face of Willie Fox. Sister had a hard time following, falling asleep that night. Her mind was filled with those headlines. There was even one that said Silly Goose missing and Willie Fox questioned. The sound of Brothers Bears peacefully sleeping finally lulled her to sleep. The next day dawned bright and friendly to everybody but sister. She had spent the restless night, and when she looked out the window, everything seemed a little strange. The trees seemed to reach, reach for her. An owl stared at her, and crows glared. Let's go out and ride our bikes on the village green, said brother after breakfast. But sister didn't want to. Brother was puzzled. The green was a bright, busy, friendly place where she loved to play. Well, how about some soccer? But she didn't want to do that either. It wasn't until he suggested Frisbee, her favorite game, that she agreed to go along. Before they left, they told Mama where they'd be. It was a family rule that they never went anywhere without telling Mama or Papa. That's fine, said Mama. I'm on my way to Farmer Ben's for apples. I'll stop by for you on the way home. 
So the village green was the same bustling place it had been. This is what it looked like to everyone but sister. This is what it looked like to her. Today, even the frogs and butterflies seemed mean and scary to sister. Later, when somebody tapped her on the shoulder, she jumped a mile, even though it was just mama. Yipe. How was everything at the village green? asked mama on the way home in the car. Sister sat in the front with mama and brother rode in the back with barrels and apples. All right, I guess, said sister. But there were so many strangers. Later at home, when Mama and Sister were getting ready to make applesauce, Mama said, You know what Papa told you was quite right. It's not a good idea to talk to strangers or accept presents or rides from them. But she continued, That doesn't mean all strangers are bad. Why, chances are that there wasn't a single person on the green that would harm a fly, much less a fine little cub like you. The trouble is, well, it's like a barrel of apples. There's an old saying that goes... There will always be a couple of bad apples in every barrel. That's the way it is with cub strangers. Cubs have to be careful because of the few bad apples. Look, said sister, I found one. It's all bumpy and has funny shape. Well, it certainly is strange looking, said Mama, but it doesn't necessarily mean it's bad. You can always tell from the outside which are the bad apples. She cut it in half. See, she said, it's fine inside. Now here's one that looks fine on the outside. But inside, it's all wormy. Yuck, said sister. What's up, said brother. A bad apple, said sister. Double yuck, said brother. Hey, I'm going to the meadow to fly my new pusher plane. Want to come? Sure, sis said sister. I can pick some wildflowers. She felt much better now, more like her old friendly self. The pusher plane was a great success. The cubs were about to head home when someone drove onto the meadow with a big, beautiful orange and green model airplane. Wait, said brother, I want to watch. It's a radio controlled job. Sister went back to picking wildflowers, but before she knew it, brother was talking to a stranger. For that's what he was, a stranger, no matter how big or beautiful the radio-controlled job was. She dropped her wildflowers and ran over to them. I'm going to send it up and f follow the car, the stranger was saying. Want to come along? Wow, said brother. He would have if sister hadn't grabbed his arm. Don't you dare. The stranger drove off, follow, follow, off following his airplane, and sister ran home shouting, Brother talked to a stranger. Brother talked to a stranger. But it was a big orange and green radio controlled job, said brother. That doesn't matter, said Papa. We have rules about strangers, and they're important. We have rules about tattletales, too, said brother, glaring at sister. Sister wasn't tattling. Tattling is telling someone, telling just to be mean. He, explained mama and sister was telling because she loves you and is worried don't you think that fellow was a bad apple asked brother probably not said mama that's right said sister most most folks are friendly and nice and wouldn't hurt a fly but you have to be careful just in case speaking of apples said mama how about some of this applesauce i just made as they sat having a dish of Mama's delicious applesauce, brother and sister thought about it and learned thought about what they learned about the day. There was quite a lot to think about. For brother and sister's rules for the cubs, turn the page. Brother and sister bears rules for cubs. Never talk to a stranger. Never take candy or gifts from a stranger. Never go anywhere with a stranger. Don't keep secrets from your parents, especially if someone asks you to. Your body is your own personal property and no one else's business, especially the private parts. When you're real little, of course, mom and papa may help you with your bath or in the bathroom or, and your doctor is in the body business, will have to examine you from time to time, even when you're not little. Six, use your common sense. We can have rules for everything. Common sense is what keeps us safe by telling us what to do in situations that are not covered by the rules.